The Crow Wing County Landfill changed its expanded summer hours to its expanded summer hours this week. Our A.J. Feldman took a trip to the landfill to see how your trash gets handled and cared for. Every day is different. First, we uh, remember a lot of stuff I used to learn in high school science and all the stuff they told you never use. Yeah, you use it. <laughs> Doug Morris is the solid waste coordinator of the Crow Wing County Landfill, where he keeps the county as clean as possible. I think it's a lot cleaner in the last 10 years than it was maybe 30 years ago with all these opportunities. Going. Now if you, if you see stuff, the people don't really have any excuses. The landfill offers a way for residents to drop off numerous items for safe disposal, whether it's oil, TVs, or other household appliances. Air conditioners, separate because there's a lot more steel or a lot more metal in those. Microwaves, we've got to pull out the capacitor first so we keep them separate. Then you got rid of your scrap metal. Then we've got washers and dryers. We want to look at first to make sure they don't have any um, mercury switches in them. Once we check through them, then we, then we throw them in the pile. And our last part of it is like uh, freezers and refrigerators. The landfill has a household hazardous waste facility where county residents can dispose of products that contain toxic components. 1,600 people make drop-offs every year, and those that can still be used are offered back to the public. You know, a lot of people bring in stuff that's perfectly good yet, so this is free to anybody in Crowing County. They want to come here and pick the stuff up. Morris says he gets calls all the time about people looking for thrown out items, but it doesn't usually work out like in the movies. Now, if they get lucky and we catch them before they dump, now they have better luck doing that because they can, they can judge kind of where it out in the load it is. You have a better chance to find it before they dump it. It may not be a glamorous job, but it's a very important one nonetheless. Reporting in Brainerd, A.J. Feldman, Lakeland News. The landfill is now open from 8 to 5, Monday through Saturday. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.